Ellen is Dr. Khan's niece, and she's visiting camp. So what do you say? Let's give her an Anamwana Ricky Chicka Chair. Ricky Chicka Melon, Ricky Chicka Ellen, Ricky Chicka Howie, Ricky Chicka Hey. Great. Now, by a show of hands, who would like to volunteer to take Ellen around camp and uh, be her tour guide this afternoon? I'm not sure I made this clear, but I'd like a volunteer to take Ellen around camp. And if Ellen has a good time, then I'll take my little helpers into town for some ice cream. It's up to you. I'll pick the green. Obviously has very good taste. All right, come on, Ellen. First, we're gonna show you the sacred trees. Soon, we'll show you the sacred rock. Yeah, come on, let's go. Rikachiki, yes. I'm gonna get my raise. What raise is that? See, Doctor Khan said I'd get a raise if I took care of Ellen, but I figured out a plan. I got the girls to do all the work so I can lay in the sun and work on my team. <laughs> wow. I know. You are looking at the smartest man in North America. See ya. Whoa! <laughs> uh, yeah! <laughs> And now you're going to pay dearly. Uh, Ellen, I, I didn't know it was you. You're not going to tell my uncle on me, are you? Me? Tell your uncle? Why would I tell your uncle? I mean, it, it was a joke, right? You can throw water balloons at me whenever you want. I can't believe what I just saw. Being Dr. Khan's niece definitely has some privileges. I mean, you can do whatever you want to whoever you want, and you cannot get in trouble. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's like you've got a protective shield around you. Come on, let's use this to our fullest advantage. Yeah! Uh -huh. The Bobby Budnick Method to Success tape, take one. Today I'm going to tell you how to make a million dollars by the time you're 16. Your first car can be a Rolls Royce. You can buy yourself a high school diploma and how? 
Today I'm going to teach you the Bobby Budnick method to success. A proven get-rich plan that allows you to earn a fortune by selling candy, bootleg concert tapes, and t-shirts. But let's not take my word for it. Let's talk to some of our satisfied customers. Have you used the Bobby Budnick method to success? Yes, I have, Bobby. At No Money Down, I was able to buy a single box of grape licorice at a bank foreclosure and sell it to friends. I made over a thousand percent profit overnight. <laughs> Did you say profit with no money down? I, I said profit, Bobby. Profit. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the magic word. Profit. <laughs> We'll get your back. You're gonna pay for this big time. Yeah, we know where you live. Hey, guys! There's gonna be a model train club meeting in about an hour. Everyone's welcome. Yes, we nailed but I haven't seen anything like this. I mean, you control a cab. I always do whatever I want at school, in camp, wherever I am. I'm my own boss. If I was my own boss, I'd say I didn't have to go to instructional swim right now. Or weightlifting. Or soccer. Who says you have to? Ugg says so. See, unfortunately, we don't have your pool, so we gotta go to activities. You wanna come? Activities? Not a chance. You guys don't mind if I stay here and hang in your bunk for a while, do you? Ellen, our bunk is your bunk. Make yourself completely at home. Thanks. Go. I will. too hard your brain might leak out. <laughs> hey, you know, guys, I think I connect with Alan. I mean, we both come from privileged backgrounds. We can relate. Well, I like her because she's not a wuss. I mean, she doesn't mind getting into a little bit of trouble. Well, I just think she's neat. What kind of word is neat? Neat a, a neat word. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Alan, we're back again. What the? Did Alan do this? No, she couldn't have. I mean, she wouldn't have. She really likes us, and I mean, we really like her. You're right. It wasn't Ellen. It was Budnick and Pinky getting us back for now and then with the water balloons. Oh, those little jerks. Actually, they're not that little. Look, why don't we just get dressed, find those two dupes, and have a little talk with them.
This new Bobby Budnick method to success, he was gonna make a fortune. Now all we have to do is copy it, sell it to kids all over the world, and, and wait for the mullah to come rolling in. Listen, Bobby, I got some new products I wanna show you in the lot. Hey, why don't you guys stick around? My model train club's gonna meet in a few minutes. Hey, Spock, what happened in the Star Trek club? <laughs> That's Thursdays. Next stop, Dweebsville, Nerd City, Lamb's Land, and Geeksburg. All aboard! Oh, Ellen, it's you. You and Luck. You can help me try out my new train set. Cool. Okay, I need you to hold these two trip wires apart. Well, I go load the volcano. Real authentic looking, huh? What happens if I touch these two wires together? You activate the chemicals inside, you cause a chain reaction, and then end with... ...an explosion. Now, Ellen, that was very bad. Why did you do that? I felt like it. Now, what are you going to do about it? Tell my uncle. No, I'm going to very nicely ask you to sit down. Instead of running the volcano, you'll work with the computer tracking system. Great! I love computers. But what happens when I type in the word... Erase? Did you say erase? Yes. Absolutely nothing happens. Nothing happens at all. Nothing happens, huh? Then what about reformat? No! You just completely reformatted my entire disk! Everything's ruined! And do you know what I'm gonna do? Tell my uncle and get me kicked out of camp. No. I'm going to sit here very nicely, very quietly, and reprogram the whole thing. Well, I'm not going to let you work on your computer without putting up a fight. Oh, yeah? And how are you going to stop me? With this. I got the marketing strategies in place and an 800 number ready to go. So once the Bobby Bunding method takes off, you're going to have to have other products to sell. Yeah, but I don't want to put my name on anything that I don't believe in. How about a vegetable steamer? Nah, I'd rather have this powered water gun. And I really like this thing over here that makes beef jerky. It also prints perfect fake ID. Why did you do that? Because you jerks trashed our bunk. So we trashed your trash. Whoa there, Trigger. We weren't in your bunk all day. We didn't touch your stuff. Are you guys really telling the truth? I mean, you didn't go in our bunks. We swore on a double palm spit we didn't. <coughs> okay, okay, wait a minute. If you guys didn't trash our bunk, who did? Ham, turkey, bologna, Swiss, salami, anchovies, mayo, ketchup. Ketchup! Hey! That was my sandwich and I paid for that bag of chips. That's it, I'm gonna go tell Dr. Khan that his niece is a thief. No, no, please, please, talk to you. Let's just take mine, just take mine. I don't want to make any waves and jeopardize my race. Oh, and here's some money to pay for the potato chips, okay? Yeah, that should do it. I wasn't really hungry anyway. Hey, Ugg, thanks for sticking us with Ellen. She trashed our butt. Yeah, and she ruined my shirt. And she crashed my terrarium. And, and we're, we're going to tell Dr. Khan. No, 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 please, please don't tell Dr. Khan. I'll pay for all the damages. I, I don't even know what a terrarium is, but it's 
probably expensive, huh? And the only place I bought my makeup at is out of business. So that means you won't be able to buy any more makeup. No, it means I have to special order it from France, have it shipped here, and it'll cost three times as much to replace it. Hey, I got Ellen kid broke into the rec room and snapped all my guitar strings. And then she smashed my drums. Oh, boy. Okay. There's yours. That's for you. For your t-shirt. For your terrarium. And for French makeup. Boy. Getting a raise is costing me a fortune. Sunnick's guitar, Pinsky's drums. I wonder if she did anything to Sponge. When was the last time anybody saw Sponge? The last time we saw Sponge, he was setting up his train set. I wonder if Ellen got to him. <laughs> Budnick method tape. I say a bug is too chicken to deal with this and tell Dr. Khan, then we'll just deal with it ourselves. No, I heard Ugg has a new shipment of sodas coming in a can. Yeah, I saw him unloading them into the pantry, and he didn't put a lock on the door. Frontier Justice and give Ellen an awful waffle. She's Dr. Khan's niece and she's only a visitor. And if there's any trouble, I may not get my raise. But she destroyed her stuff. Yes. 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 Ellen, it's Kevin Lee. Hi. I, I just want to apologize for everyone out here for locking the closet. It was wrong and, and I hope you won't take any offense at my camper's irrational and irresponsible behavior. Will you, Ellen? 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 What? She's not in here. Look, you guys, the spoons were there. Don't blame me. She took the soap. 
Lotus. I hope she didn't take my ration. Lawlessness, rampant lawlessness. She ran through the crawl space. How did she get through there? Look at this. Look at that. First, she tied Sponge to the tracks, which I thought was pretty cool, but no one ever, ever takes sodas from this camp without my permission. So I suggest you make like the wind and blow before I get really angry. Hey, you thought that was pretty good tying Sponge to the tracks, huh? 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 You say huh one more time and I'm gonna... What? So what else are you doing in camp besides making everyone's life miserable? My folks down here and I'm trying to get kicked out. Well, that's cool, but you just need to chill out. I and mean, there's a fine line between being cool and being a fool. Oh, yeah? Yeah, being cool is bending the rules. Being a fool is breaking them apart. Besides, being cool gets you further with the friends. You know something? You're right. What you said kind of makes sense. It does? What did I say? The thing about chilling out. I need to do that. If I'm ever going to be really happy, I need to change the way I look at the world and stuff. You've really opened my eyes. Do you really mean that? From the bottom of my heart. Now, can I have my sodas back? Thanks. Oh, Can you believe this? The little monster. You're looking at one of the world's foremost child psychologists. I thought you were the world's foremost chump. I found Ellen, and in a matter of moments, I was able to identify her deepest mental problems and then solve them. Yeah. Okay, bud, Nick. Look, she did a complete 180. I mean, she's going to stop being a little jerk. She's, she's going to join the Bluebird. She's going to read books to the blind kids. She's going to be like ZZ, except much cooler. And it's all because of me. Why did you do that? Because the sign on your back said so. <laughs> Ellen. You called? Hi, guys. Great soda. Why don't you have some? <laughs> <laughs> Just what she wants us to do. You mean she wants me out of breath? Look, it's not about what she wants. Look, guys, it's about what we want. We want to make her life miserable, and here's how we do it. I got a great idea. Where's everyone? You can catch me. Hey, guys.
really cool article. Come here. Oh, let me see. The bulls are the best. The bulls, the Lakers are the best. They went back to back. Hey, guys. Bombs away. Day today, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. Nothing could be nicer. from you as possible. That's their loss. You can stay in this punk for as long as you want. Excuse me. What do I have to do to get you guys to chase me? There's nothing you can do. So we figured all you wanted was attention and the worst possible thing we could do to you was ignore you. You're gonna ignore me while I thrash your stuff. You can trash whatever you want to trash, destroy whatever you want to destroy, and no one will punish you or bother you. You'll have complete freedom. Great! The only way you will be punished is if you press that little red button over there. But you'll only be bringing the punishment on yourself. Oh, yeah? What kind of punishment? Uh, you'll find out, but don't say I didn't warn you. I might as well just go turn in my whistle right now. Thanks a lot, guys, for ruining my whole camp career. This is Dr. Khan. Would Kevin Lee report to my office now? This is radical. You kick him out of camp. See ya. Hey, Ugg. I know we don't do this that often, but uh, we're gonna have to apologize to you. Yeah, we're gonna tell Dr. Khan that he can't do this to you. Look, Ugg, it's our fault. And, and he shouldn't throw you out of camp just because of something we did. He should throw us out, right, guys? Right. Well, I'm not getting thrown out of camp. You're not? No. Dr. Khan gave me a raise and an extra day off as a reward. For what? No one has ever disciplined Ellen in her whole life, and Dr. Khan was delighted that someone could teach her a lesson. And he even said I can take you all to a concert out of camp. And he's paying! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. There's, there's just one little problem. Better time here 
than I ever had at home. Thanks. I want to learn that feather and egg thing so I can try it on everybody else. Guess who might be coming back to camp next summer? That's me. Nick will be back tonight, but not at Camp Hanawana. Watch Danny Cooksey guest star in the tale of the Guardian's Curse on an all-new Are You Afraid of the Dark tonight on SNCC. Now, stay right where you are for the first chapter of Monsoon Man.